I don't think I was addicted to marriage. I do think I w- I'm addicted to love, though. I think that I love being in love so much that mm-hmm. I will fall in love with anybody that just holds still for about 20 minutes. I like the I like the high. It's just without a doubt the best high I've ever been on in my life. Falling in love, motherfucker. That's just wonderful. Oh, <laughs> everybody that is watching these, if you don't know how much I love Helen Fisher. Get on Amazon and get all her books. There's only one that's bad, and it's the one where she decides that women are going to be the future of the world. But any of the other ones are worth all your time reading, especially the one where she studies about average marriages lasting four years worldwide. World fucking wide, all cultures. And she's got the statistics to back it up. So it's not a seven-year itch, it's a four-year itch. And the reason that It is, if any of you guys haven't read it, let me give you a very short version. We evolved on the savannah of Africa. Women lived with a small hunter-gatherer group, and they'd have a baby at a very young age, say 14, and the baby has to be nursed. There weren't any baby bottles then. So while she's nursing the baby, she can't get pregnant because the body produces something that prevents pregnancy during nursing. A year of pregnancy, three years for the kid to be carried around and taken care of and nursed. And then the kid's able to get along on his own. The man leaves and the woman go gets another man. Now this is good for the survival of the species because this woman has another chance to get her DNA into the future by a different male. That guy might have a congenital problem and her baby will die when he's 18 and she doesn't know it. So she gets another one. And then four years and another one, and four more years and another one, and four more years in menopause. So women are programmed to have four different men make them pregnant in their life. That's why they're so fucking choosy about who they pick. You've got to have everything going for you, and you can't be anything like that guy. Be new, somebody different. Now, men, we have a different program. Try to impregnate 5,000 women before you die. When I was 38, I told my friend John Dempsey, who was also a crazy fucker like me. I said, John, you know what I've realized? I can't fuck them all. I finally get it. I can't do it. (laughs) (laughs) I was serious. I couldn't believe it. I said, I'll be goddamn, it's impossible. (laughs) So if a marriage or a relationship lasts for like three or four years, that's success, right? It's not, not failure. I think there is no such thing as failure. There's only doing what you enjoy and not doing what you don't enjoy. We think if a marriage lasts, it's successful. But I've never met anybody happily married, anybody in my entire fucking life. My parents weren't happy. My wife's parents weren't happy. My friends aren't happy. I don't know anybody who's happily married. Nobody. And I've been alive a long fucking time. Somewhere in one of my books or something I wrote, it says just because it doesn't last doesn't mean it's bad. It's wonderful for those two or three beginning years it's just a rocket ship to the moon it's just wonderful and you got to ride it and and understand that all things have to end and when it ends it's no it's not a failure it's just the end you have to start over again my first wife janet i was 23 and she was 21 okay we lasted 10 years but we became different people even though we both started out at the same age approximately what was important to me at 30 after being working at Bechtel and all these other companies for 10 years, and finding out the world's gigantic, big, and there's women everywhere. And there's plenty of things I don't know how to do that I want to learn how to do. And I did learn how to do. And she's working as a receptionist and then as a secretary in a small company. And she doesn't grow. She doesn't, she's not challenged. She's not doing anything that's forcing her to become different. And so I changed a lot faster than she did. And that was the end of that marriage. Second wife, she was 17 and I was 32. Now she changes a lot faster from 17 to to 27 than I changed from 32 to 42. Okay, I'm almost who I'm going to be at 32. She's just becoming what she is. So she's changing faster than you. That's why it'll never fit together and won't, quote, last, unquote. But I would say the love I had for that girl and the love affair I had with her was the most rewarding moments of my entire fucking life.